Do you like my socks? You're not supposed to reveal that you're not wearing suit trousers. This is what I wear to formal events. It's smart casual. Smart casual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. That is how it works. Wow, we're really dressed up. Yeah, but... it's a big day. It is a big day. <laughs> big day. Are you ready for this? We haven't talked this through. I am definitely not ready for this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today, we have a jolly big announcement. It made me nervous just, just talking about talking about it. So you've probably already seen from the thumbnail, it's not clickbait, it's we not are clickbait. having a baby. This is true. It's a medical miracle. It's Josh not, and I... Not we. No? Thankfully, not we. So, that would be actually impossible. Kind of giving the game away. But... It seems like it's clickbait now. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> a baby is coming. Yes. A baby is coming. The, the truth is, Ollie, you're having a baby. I'm having a baby. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? It definitely is not a reality in my head yet. And not only are you having a baby, we've left it so late to tell you guys that you're having a baby in what? Two weeks? Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's Maybe really less. soon, and I'm really unprepared <laughs> to become a father. Weeks. You better be prepared. No, I am not. <laughs> I am not prepared. It's not an it. It's not an it. It's a she. It's a she. She. Yeah. Which, I must say, initially I was a little bit disappointed. What do you mean? Why? Well, you can't say that. I know you can't say that, but I always thought it'd be great to call my child Olaf. <laughs> and so... <laughs> There was a part of me that was a little bit disappointed. Okay, okay, you're joking. You're mostly joking. I've known this for a while. Yeah. It has not dawned on me still. It's just something we talk about and kind of laugh about how insane it is. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's like... There's a baby coming. It's like... Did, 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 did. Ollie and Lizzie, his wife, are having a baby girl. About two or three weeks from now. Very soon. We haven't bought anything. We are not prepared for this in any meaningful way. But then we started looking into the stuff that you need to get, right? It is endless. Buggies, wipes, endless number of creams. Like, you you don't want to know what creams you need. Not like whipped cream. Well, I mean, maybe for a dessert. The baby, yeah. But well, you don't need to have a baby yeah, <laughs> to buy whipped cream. I looked up on the internet some of the weirdest baby things. I thought I'd show you them. Okay. And then we can decide together whether they would be a good purchase. Are you up for that? Helping me yeah, with that? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I, you know, eventually me and Gabby are going to have a baby too. No plans as of yet. But this is pre-research for me, which you never got the chance to do. You're doing two weeks beforehand. First up, I've got this. Sound Beginnings. It's a what belly band. Uh, yeah. That's the best way to share music with your baby in the womb. So this is pre-birth. We're going to use this for the next two weeks. Pre-birth. Strap it onto Lizzie's belly. Yeah. And it's got speakers built into it. And you can play Wait. the baby music. It just looks like a band. Where are the speakers? They're built into it. It's high tech, Josh. Well, actually, it doesn't actually look so it just, high tech. It, it really <laughs> just looks like a giant band. Oh, and it's got a little splitter so you can listen to what your baby's listening to. Ooh. So music's supposed to be good for babies. So, Holy moly. Can you see how much One that is? new from £3,000. Oh, that's in nude. That's if you want the nude coloured ah. one. But if you want the grey one, it's only 200 quid. 200. So there you go. That's a steal <laughs> at that price. Maybe they're really good quality speakers. <laughs> 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 those audio file yeah, babies. Yeah, they're like, this is in a very low bit rate. Yeah. yeah. Yes or a no? 100% no. Okay. So an enormous waste of money. That costs 200 pounds for that. Baby's got to have somewhere to sleep, right? Obviously. Only you the best for my baby. So this is a 14,000 pound baby. Holy moly. The little duchess upholstered cot. When we say this is fit for a princess, we really mean it. Royal families from across the world have ordered this for their real life princesses. No. French silk, English beach, cut glass, diamantes. What diamantes? <laughs> All of this goes into our little duchess cot, which takes around 12 weeks to create. I mean, that's more than a thousand pounds a week. You're paying them to make that. That's true. But it has got diamantes. I think this might be a wow. little bit out of our price range. Yeah, let's not do this. I mean, it doesn't do anything special. It just looks fancy. It doesn't even have Bluetooth. For £14,000, at least throw in a little baby speaker underneath the pillow. So they can <laughs> listen to Mozart while wow. they sleep. And knock you back another Come 200 quid. Come on, that is so obvious. Not happy with that. So that's another no. Move on. Wow. Moving on. This, is, this guy's hard to please. <laughs> Sometimes babies can get a blocked nose. And okay. unblocking a baby's nose is quite hard. So this... They can't blow their nose. ...is a manual snot extractor. You stick <gasps> that tube up the baby's nose. 
suck it out. When How much is it though? Uh, we, well, we want to look for like less than 15 quid. More than that, it's just... This is my child you're talking about! Just a tube. What are you talking about? Boom. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. I buy that. Seven pounds, flipping on discount. See, that's reasonable. Yeah. It's it's just a filter. All right, add to basket. If I'm ever babysitting, I don't want to swallow the snot. I'll carry this in my pocket. Perfect. Quit. All right, next up. Think of the same problem, Yeah. but with farts. This... It's a natural solution for babies with colic and other gas-related problems. You stick it up their bum. That's <laughs> not gonna make them stop crying. <laughs> yeah, so you shove that up your baby's bum. Is it like a plunger? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to get it. Put yourself in the baby's position. When I get gas, I don't want a giant to come and stick a tube up my bum. Moving swiftly onwards. I have nipples, but you I have breasts. do, you can't be milked. Can't feed. No. I can't be milked. <laughs> But Josh, yeah. what if I wanted to be milked? What do you mean? <laughs> what is that? It's a strap-on bottle that goes in the place of the breast so that fathers can be milked. <laughs> <laughs> You're tempted, aren't you? I can tell. I mean, I would. I want to see you with that on. See, I that's wanna... not a good reason to buy it. I want to see you nurse your daughter. From my breast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to see me do that. <laughs> So, it's a no from me. No. Next up, you can swaddle your baby yeah. in a tortilla. No freaking way. It's not a real tortilla. No, it's a no. blanket that is made to look like a tortilla. It's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, it's kind of in the same vein. Okay. Taco booties. Oh, that's cute. Watermelons. Whoa. A strawberry shortcake. Bananas. Bana the banana split. That's got to take it. Those are cute. Those are cute. What about this? What is this? Babies crawling around are useless, but if you strap <laughs> a mop to them, they become a cleaning utility. <laughs> it's a mop suit. So they can simultaneously that crawl around, get exercise, and pull their weight with the household chores, because otherwise they are just going to be leeching on house resources. This, I feel like, comes later. Okay. Once they're more active. Crawling around. Because let's be honest, for the first three months, not going to do much. Yeah, you'd have to do it yourself. Yeah. Push them around. It and completely defeats yeah, the purpose. It does. You could just use a mop. We're now entering the final stage, and this is about educating children about where babies come from. And there's this really weird subgenre of toys that you can get, which are called birthing dolls. What do you mean? So they're dolls designed to teach young children where babies come from. Why does a baby need to know that? Well, you know, get to a certain stage, you start asking questions. This is sold out. Yeah, so this is a Frozen themed one. This is Elsa, right? What's it do? And then there, <laughs> a little baby comes out of... <laughs> <laughs> It's nature! Mate, you haven't even seen the half of it yet. There's a little umbilical cord. That is the weirdest thing I have seen ever. Ever. Well, sit down, sit down, because I've got one more thing. Where does this list end, Dolly? That was quite a tasteful birthing doll. This what you mean? is the one that I'm considering buying. We've just been looking at loads of great products. That's a birthing doll. Oh. I think you're gonna love everything <laughs> that I bought. I don't know if all of them are necessary. I would say it's absolutely fun. none of them are necessary. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Lizzie. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you and uh, this baby. Jolly soon. See you later. Oh. Bye. Bye.